Meanwhile, Ukraine has made a big claim. It says Russia is using banned weapons. This is a Ukrainian army base that we're going to show you now, completely destroyed by the Russians. 70 Ukrainian soldiers died here. We have accessed an eyewitness video of this attack. Just take a look. Peace, though. That was a massive explosion. Bullets and tank bombs cannot cause that kind of damage. So what was it? Ukraine's ambassador to the United States says this was a vacuum bomb. They are shooting us with missiles, ballistic missiles. Uh, they use the... Uh, vacuum bomb today, which is actually prohibited by Geneva Con Convention. So, you know, the devastation that Russia is trying to inflict on Ukraine is, is large, but we Ukrainians will resist. We are defending our home. We do not have any other option. We will not get tired. We will not stop. We will not surrender. We will continue defending our home. And it's not only our very motivated and capable military, not only our armed forces, but everyone. So what is a vacuum bomb, also known as a thermobaric weapon? Vacuum bombs suck in oxygen from the atmosphere when they explode. They use the air to create long-lasting and high-temperature explosions. They can vaporize human bodies, crush internal organs, and reduce cities to rubble. That's how powerful they are. Ukraine claims that Russia is using them in this conflict, and that's not all. Moscow has been accused of deploying cluster bombs too. Two international humanitarian rights groups have made this claim. Cluster bombs have been banned by more than 100 countries, remember. A cluster bomb contains a number of submunitions or smaller bombs. It attacks by spraying these bombs all over a large area. Reports say Russia has used these cluster bombs on civilians in Ukraine. Several videos of such attacks have come out. In some cases, the casualties were significant. Allow me to show you some of those clips. The first one was captured from a car. The driver was just 100 meters away from a children's hospital. Suddenly, the car came under attack. That video was from Kharkiv. Reports say there were no aircrafts in the vicinity when the bombs went off. The only plausible explanation, we are told, is a cluster bomb. Here's another video. On the 25th of February, a kindergarten in Oka Trika was targeted. Multiple bombs struck the building simultaneously. Now look at what an eyewitness captured. This is believed to be a Russian missile, which looks a lot like a cluster bomb. Ukrainians are being attacked with banned weapons, they say. Ukraine's president says Russia is committing war crimes. We call on all countries of the world to immediately and firmly react to such criminal tactics by the aggressor and declare that Russia is carrying out state terrorism. We demand to put terrorists to justice in international courts. Zelensky is putting everything on the line to fight Russia, even his life. A British newspaper has made a big claim. It says 400 Russian mercenaries are in Kiev right now. What is their mission? To assassinate the Ukrainian president, they say. Who are these mercenaries? Reports say these are soldiers of the Wagner Group. It's a private Russian military force. It is run by one of the closest allies of Vladimir Putin. But many experts say the Wagner Group is very much a part of the Russian state. Look at the, their list of missions. The Wagner Group has a presence in Libya, a country currently gripped by a civil war. They've conducted operations in Syria, Mozambique, Mali, the Sudan, and the Central African Republic. In Syria, the Wagner Group fought with the Russian military and supported the Assad regime. And in 2014, they also played a role in the annexation of Crimea. Now the Wagner Group is believed to be in Kiev, and their hit list does not just include the president of Ukraine, as many as 24 names are said to be on target. Russia, of course, is denying all such reports. It maintains that it is only striking military targets. 
Moscow is not finding many takers, though. On the world stage, it stands increasingly isolated. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.